Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide for Farming Simulator 2017 and it's all about grass and hay. So I'm going to show you guys from the start until the end how you need to acquire it. Uh, why do you need grass and hay? For the simple reason, uh, if you go for animals, you need to feed those animals and they eat that kind of stuff. So that's where you need it for. Uh, if you don't have animals and you just want to do something else, just sell it in your barn. You can just sell it in your barn too. Okay. But first of all, you guys see uh, the field in front of me. My worker is finishing uh, the sowing at the moment of grass. So uh, yeah, you don't need a field for it because you can get grass everywhere here, which is a little bit easier to do it there is another thing that you guys need to remember so you only need to sow once uh, because it's growing always back grass so don't do it two times because you are going to lose time and you are going to lose money so first of all let's have a review about all the gear that you need uh, you need like five pieces i just bought the five pieces you need to invest around 150 200 k so if you don't have the money uh, don't start with animals that's how it works in this game. I would think if you don't have three, four hundred thousand, uh, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it because you need to invest a lot of time and money before you get like money from uh, animals in this game. Okay, and I think my guy is done. Yes, he's done. But first of all, let's have a look. So a bit of equipment. It's uh, first of all you need a mower. This is a mower. Simple mower cuts the grass. So that's what you need. Then you got a wind rower and a wind rower is going to put the grass on one pile. So it's like a turbine that is uh, yeah, going around and it's just going to blow uh, the grass to one side. That's what it does because it's easier to collect it then and it's not taking uh, a lot of time if you got only a couple of piles to do it. You guys will see it when I do it. Then you got the tether. The tether is used for hay. For the what is it doing? It's just going to pick up the grass. It's go going to throw the grass around, and it's going to dry a lot faster. So the difference between grass and hay is just uh, hay is dried grass. That's it. But you need this machinery for it. Then you got a loading wagon that's to pick up grass or hay, and then you got the baler that's to make bales of the grass or the hay. Okay. So let's get started guys so first of all I'm going to put this dude out of the way so let's put him out of the way because I don't need this cedar anymore so let's put it here okay first of all let's get started so the basic we need to mow the grass so uh, we need to put the mower on my tractor so that's just straight on just mow it, you guys will see it. Of course, this is the basic one. Uh, you got, of course, bigger ones too, like every machinery in this game. But this one is just going to mow and it's just going to make a pile of grass. And that's what it does. Not more, not less. That's how it works. So what you need to do is, I'm going to put it over here and I need to watch it that I'm on my field and not on the, the grass near the field. So you just put it here and most of the time I just use a helper to do it. For the simple reason that they do it a lot better than me. So you just go and you guys will see he's making a nice pile of grass. Okay, so I'm just going to let this dude do his work. And now I'm getting the wind rower because now we are going to put the piles that this dude makes on one big pile. So normally it's uh, I think uh, three piles make one pile and then you are okay. So this field is going to have 10 maybe 11 big piles and that's what you need to do it good and to be, pro to be productive. Otherwise it's a little bit problematic. Okay. So let's go to another tractor and let's get the wind rower that's over here. Okay, so let's get it going. And we need to wait now a little bit on the, the mowing tractor because I don't want to be in his, uh, in his way otherwise he's going to be blocked. 
And the problem is I cannot uh, time forward anymore. Yeah, I can do it, but it's going to get dark and I don't want it to be dark because otherwise you guys cannot see that much. So what you need to do is the next thing. So I already said it, it's going to uh, blow the grass to one side. And this is a new one because this one I never used, but let's have a look how we can do it. So let's lower it. And uh, I need to watch to... Uh, ah, you need to unfold it. Aha. Oh, it's a big one. Ah, okay. It's just the same one. Yeah. So what you see here is... Let's get a little bit closer. So you guys see here at the left, you see like a yellow and red plate. And that's where the new pile is going to come. So the, the turbine is going to blow it to the left side. So what you need to do is if I want to make like this middle pile here the big pile i need to be sure that my sign or my uh, plate is at the left side of it so let's try to do that so let's put it to the left a little bit like that and i think it's not big enough because uh, the problem is i need to take the entire right side with it so the 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 rower need to be over it and then it's going to take all the grass under it so I think this is okay. So let's start it. So uh, let's turn it on. And if we go now further, you guys see, check. Now it's going to the left. So I'm just making the middle pile a little bit bigger. And that's what you need to do. That's why you need to use the, the wind rower. That's the only reason why you need to use it, check. So now it's getting a bigger pile. And of course, I'm not going to do this by myself because we got workers and let's do the worker. Let's do the worker, uh, do this. So uh, here we go. So if I got two piles, uh, two big piles, it's okay for me. And uh, that's going to be for the grass and then two other big piles uh, for the hay. So you guys see it. It's now becoming a nice big pile. And I think he's now probably going to take the right one and put the right one on the middle one too yeah and he's going to do it so i just made from three piles one big one and that's what you need to do so that's how it works always check how the it turns around and uh, that's how you need to do it if you guys want to do it manually because of course you need to pay now the worker so uh yeah that's how you do it Okay, now it's time, because we almost finished pile number one. So now it's time to get the equipment that we can collect or uh, make bales uh, from the grass. So now it's time to get to my other tractor, this one. And I'm going to show you guys first how we need to bale. So let's get the baler. Oh, that's a very good driving again. What the fuck, man. Okay. So, uh, and now we need to go over the big pile. It's not that hard. So you just need to get over the big pile. You need to put on the baler. And that's all what you need to do. So this is good. Let's have a look. So uh, that my guy stops in time because... Uh, if you go for the hay, you first need to use the, the tether before you need to use the wind rower. So I need to watch it a little bit that he stops in time. But I think I can just show you guys the baler. So what you need to do is uh, you just lower the pickup. So you will see now it goes down. Then you need to turn it on with B. And then you just need to drive over it. And you guys see at the right bottom that the baler is filling and uh, if you hear a sound and I need to switch for one moment this dude because he need to stop okay I need to put him here because I only want two big piles that I can show you guys the grass uh, okay so you just need to drive and I think he's back off so let's put him back on Yeah, and here we go. And if you get a sound, that means that the baler is almost full. Yeah, do you hear it, guys? So, now it's getting almost full. Ok, 
okay, and it's full. It goes really quick because the piles are very concentrated grass. So now let's make a bale. So let's push I and here we go. That's our grass bale. Let's close it again. Let's go again. So of course what you can do to now is you can just sell it in the barn too. I will show you guys because I'm going with my baler now to the barn. The barn is over there. So you can just drive inside and you can just do the same with hay of course because this is grass because it's not dried by my uh, by my tether. So you just go here, you just push I and here we go. I hope. No, it's not I it seems. Uh, ah yeah, it's I, but not the I that I uh, meant. <laughs> there you go, and you get money from it. 270 euros for this bale. Okay, so that was it for the, the baling. Baling grass. And now I'm going to show you guys the loading wagon. So it, it, it's almost just the same. You need to go over the pile, but you are not going to make bales, of course. Because this is not a baler. It's a loading wagon. So just equip it. What the fuck, man? Check this. Whoa. It's, it's way too heavy for my... Uh... Oh, this is not good. Ah, okay. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, I went a little bit more to the front in my tractor. And you guys saw... Yeah, it worked like a charm. So what you need to do is just the same. You need to go over the pile okay and then you need to uh, lower the pickup that's V then you need to turn on the forage wagon that's P and then you just need to drive over it simple and you will see at the right bottom again it's filling but now it's just filling with grass so it's not a bale because here is the bale at my right side and you can do just the same as with, uh, with the baling, you can just go to your barn. That's what I'm going to do. And I think that the grass still need to grow here. So let's speed up a little bit, but, but not too much. Let's turn it off. Let's put it on. Okay, so let's go to the barn. It's just grass. By the way, guys, be sure, because I had that problem. If you go uh, first on grass, uh, that you don't have any more grass in your wagon. Because otherwise it's not going to work. Because I had the problem, I had a little bit of grass still in the wagon. And I went over the hay, but he didn't pick it up. So, because they are, uh, yeah, different, uh, it's not different crops, but they are different material for the game. So, that was it, how you need to do it with your uh, loading wagon. Now it's time to focus a little bit on the uh, hay. So, this, this was the grass, but now it's time for the hay. And I hope that uh, my grass is going to, to grow before it's dark, because otherwise I don't like videos in the dark. So I'm not sure when it's when it's getting dark in this game. So let's pick the tether here. So the only difference is that after you uh, mow the grass, you need to use the tether before you use the wind rower. That's the difference for hay. So how a tether works, I already said it, it just picks up the grass, it just throws it around. So you can just go over it and I always take uh, three piles. So let's have a look, lower tether, unfold tether and uh... okay, turn on tether and now we are ready to go. So be sure, I think that I can just take those three piles. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. No, I missed a little bit of the left. And you guys see already what is happening. So the thing is, how can you see it's hay? Simple. It's just uh, instead of dark green, it's going to be light green. So that's how you can see it. 
so one more lane yeah the grass is not going to be uh, fully growth before it's dark so i'm going to put my mower out of the side i think i got enough so let's put it over here okay you guys see this is hay so now i just need to do the same again so i get my wind rower again because i want to make one pile and uh, then i'm going to use my uh, baler and my loading wagon so uh, let's get the wind rower uh, i hope it's still on the tractor yes Okay, let's do it like this. So I just put it here and then I put my worker into action. Okay, here we go. And it's just the same. There is uh, not a lot of difference. There is no difference to be honest. So you just are going to make one big pile now. But it's hay instead of... Uh, of grass so that's how you need to do it but I want to show you guys it so that you see the difference in the, the color and all that stuff okay and I think that my uh, my tractor with the with the tether is done too so I'm going to put him out of the way too okay Okay, and he's making a nice pile. So, uh, yeah, let's get the baler again to make now uh, hay bales. And then we are ready. I'm not going to show you guys the, the wagon. The wagon is just the same. You just uh, drive over it like the grass. So, yeah, it's a little bit silly that I show two times the same. But maybe I can show you guys a hay bale. It's just the same too. It's just another color. Does. But uh, how you need to do it is just the same as with the grass so let's equip it and i think we got one pile ready yes we got one pile ready so let's go over it let's put it on uh b okay cruise control okay and here we go just the same again you see it filling at the right bottom uh, if it is almost full you hear a sound and then you can make your hail bale did i just said hail bale hay bale so uh, it's almost done okay and here we go so that's a hay bale so that was it guys for the guide so uh yeah you need to know what you need to do so uh I showed you guys the grass and the hay uh, because you need that kind of stuff if you go for animals. Be sure that you got two, three hundred thousand uh, euros for sure because all the equipment that I used is around that number. And uh, yeah, that's all what I can show you guys. I hope that this uh, tutorial helps you guys a lot. So if you like the video, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe, please. I see you guys in the next video. I'm going to focus a little bit on getting now a lot of money uh, because I want to get bigger equipment because at the moment I'm a little bit on the limit with my harvesters. I need to get a bigger one. So I see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have fun and bye bye.